Hi, my name is Daryl Labar, and I want to show how to work with the activity party list for activities. And specifically today, we're going to work with the phone calls to and from. So if you ever try to do this with early on entities, you're going to come into lots of frustration since it doesn't really allow you to do it. So here's how you would do it, um, I would say, the long way. So let's go ahead and get our two list here. Say we want to update the two first. We do our f two here. Our two is an I enumerable. That I enumerable, you can't add anything to it. So you can't just get it back and add it. You also can't set it because you need to set it to an actual I enumerable of some sort. Um, so you have to cast it, which is not a lot of fun. So kind of in order to do that, you need to use the get attribute value. And it is underneath the covers an entity collection. I'm going to actually get my two field here. So this gives me back my actual two list. Now I can check to see if it's null or not. Um, if it's null, then I want to set it equal to the new entity collection. I want to add it to my actual phone call. And again, I can't use the two because that's typed. So I got to do it the untyped way. All right. So now that sets it, and I'm free to actually add to my two list. The other bad thing about this as well is. This is actually an activity party, not your standard um, entity reference or entities. Okay, so that actually is doing our add. So we have to go and get the actual entity out of the object. Um, Make sure it's not null. If it's null, we default it. Then we do our add. So that's a lot of code and do that. And the from would look pretty much identical. Only this would be a from, a from. The froms can only have one. So you don't want to add. You want to um, clear it if it exists and set it equal to that. So rather than doing it the long way, I'm going to show you kind of a short way to make your life a little easier. It takes just a little bit of extra code and the setup. But I've added a method called uh, add to. This method is actually a method on the actual phone call itself. So if I actually go to the add to method here, here's the add to. So I'm in the partial class of the phone call and accepts an entity reference, creates a new activity party for it, and says what field it's for, and then adds that activity party to the actual entity. Now add activity party. It's basically right in here. It's an extension method on entity. So say give me the field name and the party I'll add it. And it's doing the same logic we were doing before. Where it goes through and it actually gets the entity collection, checks the value, and adds it to it. And instantiates it if it needs to. So basically, rather than having to remember, oh yeah, it's an entity collection that this I enumerable is, and oh yeah, it's a party list. This kind of does it all for you. So that way you can convert that into a single line of code, both here and for the from. Remember, since the from can only have one value, you can't, um, you don't want to add to it, you want to actually set it. So that's why I have an add for the two and a set for the from. And that way you, it's clear to the program that, hey, this is adding to it and this is setting from. So basically the things to remember is the uh, actual actual early bond entities don't really support this. You have to do some fun casting. Um, it's all an entity collection of activity um, activity parties. And once you kind of got over the, the hook, that's really all you need to do. Now you can actually do your create here. And all those activity parties that you set here get created um, behind the scenes as a part of this call. So there's a, a quick and easy way uh, to go through and be able to set the to and the from of our phone call. And it basically works the same way for any other activities as well. Thank you. Have a good day.